So this is a four terabyte portable SSD from Samsung, but this has been specially modified, allowing you to convert any laptop, any computer into a retro emulation monster. So this was sent to me by Chris at Chris Cool Mod. So many thanks for Chris for sending that. Let's now plug this in and let's see how quickly we can make my laptop into a retro gaming station. Let's open that up. So inside we get the Retro Bees from Chris Cool Mod sticker. We get a zombie sticker, nice sort of gaming controller there. We get two USB cables, USB type C to type C and USB type A to type C. And this is the T7 shield guys. So very well made. We have a single type C USB port here. Let's now plug this into my laptop. Okay, let's plug that in. Give that a second. Okay, so just one click on the Retro Beast and we're taking into this really nice menu here. That looks great. Let me turn that down a bit. You can see Retro Beast by Chris Cool Mod. I can now get my Xbox controller, which I've paired through Bluetooth. But of course you can use any controller that you like. It says press fire. Okay, that's registered there. And look at that guys, we are now straight into this amazing arcade menu. You can see I'm pressing down on the remote. And I can now navigate through all of these different systems. So, I mean, where do you start? Okay, so you've got pinball games. You've got computer, uh, classic collection, and you can see every single menu has a nice video playing. Okay, you have settings. In fact, let's start with the settings. So let's click on that. Okay, so here for example, we can change the themes. You've got some different options in here. You've got Beast. I mean, these are really nicely made, guys. Uh, Bit Wars, Hyperspin. You've got Chris Cool Mod, his own theme. Uh, let's try um, Bit Wars. That looks quite good. Let's click on that. I can see we now see Bit Wars there. Let's go in. Okay, so we can now navigate through the different systems here. So here, for example, is Sega Genesis. If I press right on the remote, I can now see each of the games. Oh, what a fantastic layout, guys. So you can see the game title. You get to see a preview of the game there. Lots of different things in here. I will start playing one of the games in just a second, but I just want to quickly take you around what we can see. You can see, guys, really well made. Each of the games, you can see the cover art or the artwork. You can see a preview of what the game looks like. And if you want to change to another system, you can press up or down. Here, for example, is PC Engine. You've got N64. You've got Dreamcast, PS1, Nintendo GameCube. And you can just see, guys, just pages and pages of games. And because this is running from that SSD, it's actually really, really fast. All right, let's go down. PS2, we have Wii U. Lots of different Wii U games in here. Let's go down. Okay, let's go back to the settings quickly. Okay, here's another theme. So this, these are made really well, guys. So I can see collections, settings, power, Arcade Classics, the consoles, handhelds, pinball. Okay, so let's say for example, I'm interested in a console. Let's click on that. I can now see Xbox 360, a Panasonic 3 Duo, Atari, lots of different Atari ones in here, ClecoVision, Dreamcast, Genesis, Neo Geo. Okay, let's try Neo Geo. That's always one of my favorite classic consoles. And we can now see all of these games in here. And again, guys, you can see when you hover over a game, you get to see a preview of the game type, a little video clip there. And you can see the artwork for that game in the background. So you can see a lot of time has been spent into this, giving you a really great retro experience. So let's try some classic uh, Super Sidekicks. Let's click on that. The amount of money I wasted on the arcade on this game was just, uh, <laughs> it's just too much. But this was really a, a great football game. Okay, so the game is loaded. And because these games were designed for a four x three screen, you can see instead of seeing the black bars, we have this really nice bezel artwork here. All right, let's add a credit, which is normally press select on your remote. There we go. All right, so let's go for the World Cup. Uh, let's be good old England. All right, so we're now playing this classic game. Let me take that guy on, uh, take that. 
All right, can't seem to tackle anybody at the moment. There we go, so pass. I'll pass to the wrong guy there. Okay, pass, pass. Here's my ace. Let's get that angle about here. Get the rebound. Yes, that's how you score. Okay, so once you finish playing, you can press start and select together. And that should exit out from where you are and take you back to the huge game list. Okay, so that's Neo Geo. Let's go back. Okay, so here you've got uh, SNK Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD, N64 with that data drive. I mean, when you hover over a, a system, you get to see a nice animation. So this is N64. And this is really well made. KNES, PC Engine, Duck Station, PS1, PS2, PSN, PS3. Let's try some Wii. Here you can see again, guys, lots of games, all with the artwork. Let's try some good old Mario Kart. All right, here's a boost, another boost. Oh, I can do spamming boost, okay. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like Mario Kart? I'll drop some bananas. But you can see, guys, on my laptop, which only has a basic uh, RTX 3050 card in there, is playing this absolutely fine. And again, once you finish playing, press start and select together. You can then exit out from there, and it again takes you back to this guy. So you can see it really is super easy to use. It doesn't require any kind of configuration. Just literally plug in one USB cable into your computer, click on the Retro Beast, and you can go ahead and enjoy all of these amazing classics. Okay, here we've got MAME, MAME Favorites, 4-Player, uh, MAME Clones. Okay, let's just try Arcade. I mean, where do you start? <laughs> and all of this is being run from the SSD so I've not installed anything I've not copied anything everything that we can see on the screen whilst I'm browsing whilst I'm playing whilst I'm looking through all of that has been run from this SSD so no need to worry about space issues or anything like that you can run all of this directly from that SSD Here's Arcade from the 90s. Okay, so these are some more familiar games for me. So you got Bubble Bubble. And you got uh, Racing Games. You got Alien. You got Daytona. Oh, this was a great game. You got original Donkey Kong. I mean, I'm just whizzing through now, guys, because um, just so you can see the type of games you can get in here. Okay, here we got some platform type games, including Altered Beast. Let's try Altered Beast. Okay, insert coin. So again, I'm going to press select. Okay, let's go in. All right, rise. All right, so here's a nice kick there. Uh, some punching. Okay, got a bit of a power up, so looks like I've been working out. <laughs> Get that power up. All right, definitely been working out now. Uh, take that. Okay, and then died. All right, well, <laughs> what a great game. All right, let's back out this. Let's again start and select together. And once again, we are back to a massive library of arcade games. I got good old Contra here as well. So I'm sure with this four terabyte SSD, you will definitely find all of your favorite classic games. Let's try Fight Club. All right, here you got Art of Fighting, you've got Breakout, uh, you've got Fatal Fury, you've got Street Fighter Anniversary Edition, you've got Karate Champ, Killer Instinct, all of your favorite fighting games are here. Uh, let's just try good old uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. And let's wrap up this video guys because um, you can just be playing this for hours. Again guys, look, really nice artwork. Press start. Okay, so wrapping up this video guys, what do I think about this 4 terabyte SSD with the special build from Chris Coolmod called the Retro Beast? Well, 
as you can see guys in terms of plug and play in terms of literally zero configuration this does exactly what it said on the tin which is just plug it in don't need to mess about trying to find emulators or try to find roms or configure anything just one usb cable and you can then access a massive library of all of your favorite systems all of your 8-bit 16-bit 32-bit even 64-bit systems all of them are in here all of them have the pre-configured game list with all of that nice artwork with all of those video previews all of that is ready for you to play straight away so yes for the people that are interested in doing this stuff themselves i'm sure you can buy your own ssd i'm sure you can look online i'm sure you can find emulators you can then go ahead and configure the emulators you can then download ROMs yourself. You can then try to work out the best artwork. All of that stuff can be done if you have the time. Now, and for the people that just want something that's instant, that's plug and play, something like this pre-configured hard drive, I think is definitely worthwhile checking out, especially with the holiday season or if you know somebody's birthday is coming up, this really would make a fantastic present for anybody who loves retro gaming, but maybe doesn't have the time or maybe even the technical ability to set that stuff up themselves. If you're looking for a super easy plug and play solution, then definitely guys, this four terabyte SSD from Chris Cool Mod, I will definitely go ahead and check that out. I will leave all of the links in video description and pinned comment if you want to do that. Do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this. Are you interested in looking for a super easy way to play retro games? Would you buy something like this? Let me know what your favorite retro game was and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon with that super move thanks